Kan, shall we make him? Shall we make what? It's another Saturday coming out, prophesying the downfall of this wicked empire. But the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to give all praise to the Most High. Yahweh, Baasham, Yahushai, Baasham, Rakakadash, Harawakadash. Yeah, man, we're in we're on another location, man. With the weather is fucked up, shit is switching continually. But you know what the scripture says, man. Let me just first bring out this scripture, man. You know, we have to go out in season and out of season, man. You know? The weather forecast was actually saying that it would be dry from 12 to around 5. But it seems that the weather is continually switching up. Then all of a sudden it starts raining, pouring out of the sky. And it switches up. The sun is shining. So... No matter what the weather is, we gotta go outside and we gotta do what we have to do for the Lord, man. So, let me just uh, bring out this scripture. This is in uh, the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse, uh, verse 2. It says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. You see, so we have to go outside no matter what the weather is, man. And of course, we go outside with understanding, man. It's not, it's not that it says like, no matter what the weather is, if it is a, there's an extreme storm, tornadoes, hurricane, or whatever, then we're not going, going to go outside, you know? But if the weather is cold, or rain is a little bit falling down, you still go outside, you still go to prophesy, and that's what we do. We rebuke, we correct our people, and we instruct them into the base of the Heavenly Father, man. Because the Most High is moving, and He's about to bring judgment upon the Spirit, man. One of the things that is taking place, and which is about to take place, is taking place, it's going to take place in, in uh, Illinois, in uh, Chicago. You know, they're trying to, well, they already, they already had the decree brought forth, where they said they're going to, they're going to change laws over there in, in Chicago. In Chicago, Sh Chirac, also known for a hot zone of madness, man. People robbing each other, gang banging murder you know crime the crime rate in, in in chicago is extreme that's why they're calling it chirac people dying left and right you have the government putting all type of crates with guns in the neighborhood are people picking up the guns you got mercenaries you know which is uh, which is uh, 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 edomites or police going into our neighborhood putting on uh, uh, so-called black man face face masks looking like a negro and then they go gunning each other down in the streets. And when these things take place, our people don't understand that these are mercenaries. They think that the ops, the enemy, the other grip, the other gang banging uh, 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 gangs are doing these things. And they go to retaliate, man. So all these things are taking place right now upon this earth. But this is the thing that is being, being brought forth in this time. It says, um, Illinois, non-detainable offense beginning January 1, 2023. It says, aggravated battery, aggravated DUI, aggravated fleeing, arson, burglary, drug-induced homicide, intimidation, <coughs> kidnapping, robbery, second-degree murder, and threatening a public, a public official. So, you're gonna have situations like when, when a person, for example, might get into your house, invade in your house, there's nothing that the police will do except write a ticket. That's how extreme it's going to be. You know, pedophiles, all type of predators are going to be set free because of this so-called safety act. So when this thing will come to pass, when this will be in effect, the crime rate in, in, in Chicago is going to skyrocket extremely. This is, a, this is a free passage to do whatever they want to do. You know, the law, the law is established for justice. But if you allow lawlessness, you, you, you're actually pushing injustice. And that's what's going to happen in Chicago on a whole other scale, man. As it's seen in the movie, The Purge, man. What happened in The Purge? In The Purge, it was a free passage to cleanse people, to murder, to be buck wild, to go and slay, to do things, man. That is what's going to happen in Chicago, man. And yeah. you understand that if it starts over there, this is an energy that is going to spread all over the earth, man. Yeah, man, and th this thing is sick because, uh, you know, the black population, the black community in Chicago is big. Mm -hmm. So, 
It's kind of obvious, man, that the white man does it in Chicago. That's it. Okay. Let's go into uh, the book of Habakkuk because this is already predestinated, man. We're moving towards a time where the people upon this earth is going to be consumed, taken, being put to death in huge numbers, man. Okay. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. I will stand upon my watch and send me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me. Yeah, so we were standing on the watchtower, man, watching continually about what is taking place, what what the so-called uh, uh, self-proclaiming uh, 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 elite and ruling uh, so-called white man is doing upon this earth. We're watching all the steps, all the decrees, all the unrighteous laws, all the justification of lawlessness, and what is what has been written in the scriptures that we report towards our people, man. Come on. And what I shall and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Mm -hmm. What I shall answer when I am reproved, man, because you're walking in the spirit of the Most High, you know, in order to obtain mercy and protection, to be shielded, to be hedged from what the Lord is about to bring, you gotta understand the good will of the Most High, and we walk in it, man, and we're telling our people they need to walk in it as well, unless they will be consumed. Go on. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables mm -hmm. that he may run that readeth it yeah man the vision the vision is the is the is the prophecy which has been displayed in dreams by the onto the prophets by angels but also my visions man let me get a quick piece up about that it was spoken about in the book of Joel. and that's the time we're living in we're living in the last days the lord will put the spirit on the prophets even on on, on the the heathens to understand have to see in what time we're living in, man. It's in the book of Joel. Let's get this, man. It says... Yeah. Joel chapter 2, verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. That's why you got a lot of people that they have dreams about seeing a nuclear destruction, others dream about uh, volcanoes erupting, tsunamis, people are being beheaded, you know? People dream about Third World War. These dreams are given by the Heavenly Father onto the people to understand what time we're living in, man. The Most High is showing you like, this is about to come, this is about to come. Prepare yourself. You know, it says, and also upon the servants, upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. So it's not only on the prophets, man. That's why you even got a lot of heathens, they got dreams, and immediately they think that the Most High is dealing with them. But the Most High is not dealing with them. The Lord is merely using them to, 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 to show and to speak about the terrible thing, things that he's about to bring upon this earth, man. As long as you're not of the seed of Israel, and as long as you're not repent and walk in the ways of the Most High, the Heavenly Father is not going to save you, man. Okay? Uh, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm -hmm. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Mm -hmm. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, man, this is the time, man. We've been, we've been watching the prophecies, we've been reading the scriptures continually, and now we can see the manifestation of what the Lord said that he would bring upon this earth, man. This devil, this devil is coming with, with an unrighteous decree, man. Unrighteous decrees, man. In the book of, uh, what is it, in the book of uh, Psalms 94? Psalms 94, and I believe it is around... Verse 16? Uh, start, start, starting at 16, and then we jump to 20. Yeah, man, because our people need to understand what is going to happen, man. You gotta know what the devil is doing. You gotta know how they move. How they occupy to truly deliberately taking down people man they even said it on the georgia guidestones man they want to reduce the population to 500 million man we're living upon this earth with around seven seven and a half or eight billion people man so do the math there will be a humongous and extreme ethnic cleansing taking place upon this earth man and these elites are doing it daily on a daily basis man by the way of food by the way of, 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 of pharmaceuticals you know by the way of, of injecting people with all type of things. And you can't even speak about that, man. You know? Go on. 
the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? That's what we do, man. We rise up. We don't sit still, man. We, we are standing here and we're telling the people what's going to happen, man. You know? We're warning you. We're letting you know what is going to happen and you can take heed or take action when you're warned. You know? Go on. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And that's what we do. The Heavenly Father destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of the normalization of homosexuality, you know, lesbianism. Nowadays you got so many sexual orientations, man, and the most is against it, man. The Heavenly Father created the man and he gave unto the man the woman. You put those two together and they can procreate, they can bring life. You know, the Heavenly Father said, replenish the earth, so be fruitful, bear children. What is it that these elites are pushing upon this earth? They're pushing a thing that is against nature. Man with man, a woman with woman. That cannot procreate, so you're pushing death. Man and woman is creating life. If you're pushing man and man, a woman with woman, you're pushing death. You know, go on. Live in uh, 20. First 20? Yep. Okay. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee? which frame it mischief by a law. Yeah, so this empire is not going to have, it's not going to be joined onto the Most High. You know? Yes. This, this empire is not going to be joined onto the empire of the Heavenly Father because this empire is framing mischief by the way of law. By the way of law, they justify all type of uh, destruction upon the people, man. You know? And if you don't understand, then you're going to fall for it, man. That's why you got to know, you got to know your enemy, man. The Bible says, never trust thine enemy, man. These, these Edomites that are ruling upon this earth, they ain't your friend, man. Everything that they do is deliberately to confuse you, leading you towards self-destruction, and programming you to destroy your own brothers and sisters, man. That's continually what they do. That's why you have the whole music industry programming our people into, into the new and self-destructive madness, man. Okay. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous mm -hmm. and condemn the innocent blood. Yeah, so who, who is it that they're continually aiming upon? The poor and needy, the ones that are striving for righteousness sake, man. The ones that represent truth, man, because they don't stand for truth, man. They, they make it seem as if they stand for peace, as if they want to do the right thing, but they're not for the right, man. In the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse, uh, verse 21, they're not for the right, man. Let me get this, man. Oh, shit. Thing is switching on. But they are not standing for, for the rights, man. Come bring it up. The book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 21. Mm -hmm. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Yeah, they, that's how they operate, man. You got politicians, the president, sweet speech, convincing people, you know, luring them and convincing them that. The steps that they take are the right steps to take for the people, man. But in reality, they got their whole agenda, man. They got their own agenda. They don't care about the citizens, man. You know? This 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 whole this whole here in the Netherlands, they say we're living and we're dealing with a democracy. People can go and vote and and and, and let them let let the uh, let the ones in rulership know uh, how things need to be governed and steered. But you can choose from the, the ones that they give you to pick up, man. So what, what type of democracy we're dealing with, man? You know, this is a this is a, a dictatorial system, which is merely a, a, a face mask of democracy upon it, man, to trick the people, man. Go on. But um, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, mm -hmm. but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yep. yet were they drawn swords. Yeah, man. Drawn swords, man. So they tell you we're going to create jobs. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna give you a, a, a financial stimulus for, for the purchasing power that is decreasing. We understand the energy crisis, blah, blah, blah. You know? But in reality, they don't care about you, man. Yep. Yeah, man, exactly. Like uh, uh, Mark Rutte said on, uh, in the press conference, mm -hmm. That he, he wants to support, uh, you know, uh, the Dutch people. Mm -hmm. But we all know that he's a liar, man. He's going to uh, make you uh, depending on the government. Yep. And if you're not, if you haven't taken the, you know, the staff, yep. <laughs> then he's not going to support you. So yep. in order to get his uh, support, financial support, you, you're going to need to do what they want, man. Exactly. 
that's where it's all about man it's all about control the expanding an imperialistic mindset that's what it's all about man you use you use uh, uh, terror uh, 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 creating problems, hey, the problem, the action solution. Create a problem, put the people in terror, and, and use tyranny against the citizens, you know? And put so much fear and doubt inside of them, and you guide them and steer them how they need to move and what they need to do, man. Fear porn, fear tactics, tyranny is being used against the people, man. And as long as they don't take a stand against this evil, man, <laughs> You don't want to know what's going to happen, man. People are being led towards the slaughter, man. Programmed to think that this is the way, the right thing, and the right, the right movement, man. But we ain't taking it, man. We see what they do, and we're taking a stand, we're rising up. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, man. So let me let me bring this one out. Uh, what is it in second uh, uh, 55 Psalms 55 uh, Revelation 13 and 11 yeah. Revelation 13 and 11 the book of Revelations chapter 13 verse 11 mm -hmm. and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth uh, and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon yeah man this, this is talking about the, the revived Roman Empire that we're living in today, man. We're living in a divided kingdom, which is actually a continuation of the Roman Empire, man. If you look at all the, all the uh, uh, established uh, 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 laws, even, even, even the pillars, man, like even if you look at this building, it is the same resemblance like what you saw with the Roman Empire. The way how these things are being built, man. Yeah, man. This is this is the Roman Empire all over again, man. Exactly. It's it's all Greco-Roman, man, and mm -hmm. mixed with a bit of Hamite, uh, Hamite, you know, uh, symbols. Yep. Yep. And art. You see, and back then you had you had the uh, 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 the plebeians and the, and the patricians, man. The same thing is taking place right now in this present time. When you're looking at America, man, you have the Democrats and you got the Republicans, man. And people really think that if you choose the left or you go to right, that you truly have some difference. But there's no difference, man. It's, it's just two two separate arms, which is from the same the same body, the same the same dragon, so to say, man. The same agenda, you know. So when they speak, they speak as a lamb. That's the politic, the, the politics, the soft speech, all the promises, we're gonna create jobs, we're gonna do this, all the youth, we need to stop the war, all, all the soft and, and empty promises, but what they force upon the people are the draconian laws. If you don't go along with what we tell you, we will strict you, we will slap you with sanctions. This this is how this is how the devil operates, man. You know? And most of the people don't understand, so they bow down and they go along, man. Go on. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and he causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. All right, that was already done, man. You know, the thing that you go and see upon this earth in the book of uh, Zechariah 11, 11 and 4, what we go and see upon the earth, man. <laughs> It's going to be a heavy, an extreme increase of violence, man. People starving, you know. And when 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 people are in desperate, in desperate situations, they're going to do desperate things in order to remain alive, man. You know. When people starting to starve, they got families, they got children. They go and see how people are going to flip, man. God. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 4. Thus saith the Lord my God, Yahweh, mm -hmm. feed the flock of the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Mm -hmm. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. Yeah, man, because the mindset, the mindset is, is based on hate, you know. They're allowing you to be completely slaughtered, even to the point where they're confusing our people, man. Micah 2 and 10, they're confusing our people to the point where they think 
it is the right thing to battle and war and to slay each other, man. They slay each other, but they bow down onto the government, man. Bears that energy of, of resistance or, or violent against the one that is oppressing all of them. You see? The government is all about divide, divide and conquer, man. Divide the people, put them up against each other, but he's ruling over all of them while they're fighting against each other, man. You see, many people don't understand how this battle is being waged, man. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10, mm -hmm. Arise ye and depart, mm -hmm. for this is not your rest, mm -hmm. because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. Yeah, man, this place is about to destroy you, man. Our people are so confused, they got joy and gang banging upon each other. You tell them that they're the Israelites, but they don't even want to hear it, man. You know? We're standing here every, every Saturday on the streets, prophesying, teaching them, telling them who they are, but they don't want to accept it, man. They rather, they rather be a N I G G A, you know. They don't want to be royals. They don't want to be kings. They don't want to be princesses. But they want to be niggers, man. They want to be gremlins. They want to be murderers. They want to be dope dealers. That's what they want to be. But the Lord, the Lord ain't coming back to save dope dealers. The Lord ain't coming back to save homosexuals, man. The Lord ain't coming back to save pimps. The Lord, when the Lord is coming back, He was He is going to pulverize all those creatures, man. In the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and 4, I will bring this one up. This is in uh, the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The Lord says our people need to wake the hell up, man. Enough with the cooning, enough with listening to what the devil is telling you about what you should think, what you should believe, what you should do. It's time to return and understand who you truly are. You're a Hebrew Israelite. You're a chosen seed of the Most High. You gotta walk in the royalty of the Heavenly Father, man. And it's most just lost, man. That's what our people need to do. And if you don't do it, and if you don't want to do it, you will be consumed with all the enemies that are responsible for the state that the planet is in today, man. Come bring it out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 4. Ah, hmm? sinful nation. Oh, it's starting at 3. 3. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Mm -hmm. But Israel doth not know, yeah, my people doth not consider. Yeah, man, so our people don't know who they are, man. You ask our people, man, who are you, where are you from? Many of them might say, I'm black. Black means for the fight. When you truly look at your skin color, you different shades of brown. Nobody upon this earth is black. But yet they've been programmed to, to believe that they're black. You ask, you ask these Caucasians, these Edomites, what, what's your skin color? They say, I'm white. Don't we say blanc? Nobody upon this earth is white or blanco. Cocaine is blanco, you know? These people are different shades of red. They're the Edomites. So our people need to know the truth also about this whole psychology that is being used and being, and being, and being targeted towards our people, man. Because the meaning of white is purity and holiness, clean. They're not pure, they're not clean, they're not holy, man. Look at the legacy, man. You know? They are void of light, they are void of understanding. Their legacy exists out of rape, rob, murder, man. Yesterday I was watching something from, uh, from Alberto Stefan, man. You had, you had this dude, and most of them are pedomites, man. This dude, this dude was just uh, uh, in contact trying to, trying to learn. This man was, what was he doing? You have, you had a website, but when he was instructing, instructing these girls to lose weight, some anorexia madness, he was convincing and telling them, yeah, you gotta use this and this and that. Crazy shit, man, and but he also wanted to have sex with them, man. Fucking pedophile, man. Aiming, aiming upon, aiming upon the insecure, uh, 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 young girls, man, minors, man. And of course it was an Edomite, man. Fucking, fucking, fucking snake, man. And the way how they speak about it, they make it seem as if it is a light thing what they do, man. This man has a wife, you know, he has a wife, but yet he is occupied in sneaking and luring and aiming, aiming upon, aiming upon anorexia minus, man. But that's the mind of an Edomite, man. The scripture said it, the spirit of, in the spirit that is inside of them is not a bright, man. They are profane, they are outside of the temple. That's why they normalize this whole LGBTQ community madness, man. They got gay pride parades marching, parading all over the globe, man. This shit wouldn't happen if, if the Israelites would be in power, man. 
You have them right now trying to add the Z or Zuvilia. They're trying to add the P. We already know what the P stands for, man. We don't even go into it too much because you already go. You already know how they go concerning when you order and, and expose these things, man. Because they protect the wicked, man. You're not supposed to have upright speech, man. When you expose evil, they want to censor you. No, you're not supposed to uh, uh, offend these people. It is offensive to that one. But we tell you the <coughs> truth and nothing but the truth, man. You know, son? Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquities, a seed of evildoers, yep. children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. Yeah, man, if you look at Shai Rek, what our people are doing over them, you might think like, man, hey, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is, the Lord is right when he's going to, going to bring grief, his judgment upon the place, man. Young boys, man, I saw a clip. These dudes graduated. You saw them, you saw them celebrating their graduation with all type of machine guns, showing the guns like young boys, man. 13, 14 years old, man. Completely fucked up in the mind. But that's how it goes, man. You know? Because there's no structure, there's no discipline in, in, installed inside of these youngsters, man. They look up to gangbangers, man. They see gangbangers swinging cocaine, gunning people down in the streets. That those are their role models, man. You see? But if your role model is not is not Yahweh Shai or the prophets, you're not going to be in the right mind. That's what our people need to learn, and that's why it's key to repent. We're standing here to tell them stop doing the things that you're doing, which is hateful in the eyes of the most high. If you don't repent, let me get a quick piece of if you don't repent, the Lord's gonna allow you to be consumed by the wicked man. And the wicked are the Edomites, man. The Lord is using the Edomites as a sword, man. That's the understanding. They need, they need to repent, man. Let me get this. Revelation chapter 2, verse 6. Revelation 2, verse 6 reads, uh, verse 5. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, which means being faithful unto the Heavenly Father, man. We are married unto the Most High. That's our first love, the first works that we have to do, man. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. The Lord will put out your light, is what he says, man. If you don't repent, if you don't return, the Most High will put out your light, man. You know? Gun? Go on. Man, got spirits on the man. Got mad spirits on the They are gone away backward. Yeah, they're going away backward, man. So the mind, the mind of most of our people is actually they're in a traumatized state, and it makes sense why they're traumatized, man. You gotta understand, man. If you enslave a nation, you brutalize them, you torture them, you use their babies as crocodile bait, you lynch them, you 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 tie you you tie their pregnant women in a tree, and you cut open their pregnant belly, the belly of the woman, you rip out their baby. You gotta understand that this is something that lingers on from generation to generation, man. There was not a moment when they said like, yo, hey, how can we, how can we, how can we uh, uh, heal y'all, man? How can we restore y'all for all this what's done unto you, man? None of that took place. Yeah, man. And uh, instead of that, what they did, they made the first, uh, I don't know if it's the first amendment or second amendment, but anyway, the right to bear arms. But the black people cannot have loaded guns, man. Yep, so-called black people. Yeah, so-called black people cannot have guns, man. So <laughs> the so-called white people, they had the guns. Yep. Uh, and they, well, actually, they made the law in order uh, to protect themselves because they were afraid of uh, the so-called black people retaliating, man. Yep. That's it, man. That's their biggest fear, man. The biggest fear is the retaliation after all the crimes and atrocities that they have committed against us, man. All the riches, this whole place, everything that you see right now is built and made over the back of slaves. And yet they have the audacity to, to downtread the slaves, you know, to speak evil about them. And that's why the Lord is going to bring judgment upon them, man. That's the only thing that's, that, that needs to be done, man. Because they're not going to change. Let me get this, man. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 6, uh, verse 5. For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside and ask how thou doest? None of them asked that, man. No, no people upon this earth was like, yo, hey, y'all, y'all destroyed. And they don't even acknowledge who we truly are, man. 
they still call you Negro, Black, African, Afro-American, everything except who we truly are according to the Bible, man. We the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen seed of the Heavenly Father, man, the 12 tribes of Israel, man. We are those people, man. But they keep denying, they keep, they keep framing, they keep being demons and deceiving the whole earth and convincing you that you know about this, man. Might, they might even, they, you know, the spirit, man, convincing you that you're a Hamite, you're just a Hamite, you're a heathen, you know? Well, we're the chosen seed of the Most High, man, you know? And they're the heathens upon this earth, man. They're the lowest of the lowest, the base man, man. Give power unto a base man, and this is what, it, this, this is what they're doing to the earth, man. This is what they're doing to the planet, man. Just think about it, before, before, before the, before the Caucasians came over there, in, uh, in America, you had the native Indians living over there. It was paradise, man. They take care of, they take care of the nature, man. They are one with nature. But when you have the devil coming over there, this devil is turning the whole, this whole, this whole uh, paradise into some shopping mall, you know? Shopping mall, all type, all type of stores, all type of pollution, all type of factories, you know, all, everywhere concrete, completely fucking up the whole place, man. That's what the nation of Edom has done. They destroyed everything, man. Setting up systems, only expanding, you know, exercising, exercising power, colonialism, this wicked spirit, man. You know? And they have to pay for all those things, man. Don't think that you do all the atrocities, all the bloodshed, setting up systems, oppressing the poor, stealing from the poor, and enriching yourself, that there will be no judgment. There is a judgment, man. You know? Go on. And our people as well, man, because our people envy the oppressor. When you see the enemy doing this, you should understand, like, man, this is the devil, man. You should not be, you should not be in a spirit of envying the oppressor and thinking, like, man, I'm going to do the same thing so that I can live the same lavish life as the devil. No, man. You got to understand what, what their end is going to be, man. You don't want to end like an Edomite, man. Come, bring it out. Why should you be stricken anymore? Yeah, because the Lord chastises, man. We are under the law of the Most High. Let me get a piece of that. We are under the law of the Most High, man. So if you break the commandment, the Most High brings chastisement upon you, man. He wants you to walk in righteousness sake, man. He doesn't want to walk, he doesn't want you to walk in the same way as these heathens, man. These, 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 these homosexuals, these pedophiles, these idol worshippers, you know, these incest committers. The Lord doesn't want us to walk in that way, man. But yet you see a lot of our people walking in that spirit, man. It says it here in the book of Amos, Amos chapter 3, starting at verse 1. Hear this word that I speak, that the Lord had spoken against you, O children of Israel. So the Lord is directing towards the children of Israel, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, and you Israelite foreigners who are scattered around the earth, man. The Lord is speaking towards you. It says, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So the Lord, the Lord delivered us out of Egypt, man. Everybody knows the story about how how the Lord, um, through Moses, led the Israelites out of Egypt, man. That really happened, man. And the Lord is going to do it again in this present wicked empire, man. This is going to be the most beautiful uh, 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 exodus ever to be to be mentioned or to be written, man. The second exodus, man. Out of this wicked, back, wicked mystery Babylonian place, man. Where you got the fucking Edomites ruling, man. Pages of men. It says, you only of all the families of the earth have I known. It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. You see? So when we go off, we get punished, man. That's why when we ate swine's flesh, pork, you get sick. These Edomites can eat swine's flesh. Not, there's nothing happening with them. Because they're swine. They, 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 they just, they, they've been created to be profane, man. They can eat all uncleanness, man. But if we eat the things that are unclean, you get sick. You get diabetes, you get you get all type of diseases, man. Okay. You will revolt more and more. Mm -hmm. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Yeah, man, they all, the most of our people are sick, man. I was looking a sign look looking a video today from uh, which was a gun again, a female rapper. This female rapper was talking about, uh, 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 she said, uh, what did what she say that? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a baby daddy friend, 
I'm a baby daddy friend. Uh, he is not gonna love me. I, th I was not thinking about the plan B. I got murder on my mind. I got murder on my mind. As in talking that she, she, if she got pregnant, if she gets pregnant, she just gonna commit abortion. You know, she she don't care about the fact. She even she even acknowledges that the fact is that when she she deals with a man, she sleeps with a man. She is not using protection. She gets pregnant. She doesn't care. She's like, I didn't think about the plan B. I got murder on my mind. Murder on my mind. She was she's willing to commit an abortion even while she was do, doing things without any form of consideration. You know. Reckless, let me say it like that. She, she just being reckless, doing whatever she wants, living in pleasure. Let her bring that one out, man. Uh, hold that which you have in the book of uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 6. These females, many of them are not right, you know? The westernized world has messed up a lot of them, man. Either way, they think they're equal unto men. Others think it's a normal thing to commit abortion. Many of them are convinced that you're not doing anything wrong when you commit abortion. We are murderer, man. This is just a straight up murderer. When you commit abortion, you're a murderer, man. We will tell you that you're a murderer, man. Many may not like it, but we will tell you you're a murderer. The Lord deems it as murder, and you will be judged for that, man. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 6. Yep. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Yeah, man, and she was a prime example of living in pleasure, man. Dealing with men, not using protection, most likely getting knocked up. Here she is making a rap song. Man, I'm, I'm 25 years, I don't want to get locked, you know? I don't want to be locked yet, I got years to go. I ain't thinking about a plan B. I got murder on my mind, I got murder on my mind. Going to the abortion clinic, just just doing as if it is a nothing, man. Others, others, others had, others had those those um, those memes, you know, those memes. Sitting there with a pregnant belly, full belly, sitting in sitting in a, in a in a in a cafe, and then they drinking all type of shots. While you see the pregnant belly, she be like, oh, don't worry, tomorrow I'm going to the abortion clinic. Like that, what kind of mind is that man? yeah man that shows you that uh, you know the the so-called black woman i don't know if she's black maybe she's hispanic or something yeah one of them blend a latin or all dark skin it, yeah it, man it was a jake yeah. that shows you they don't like their own men let alone their own child man yeah, yeah. what they carry in their belly man. That's it, man. And, and and then they get mad when you go with a heathen wife man with a heathen woman hey that's it man this is the last thing that you want to deal with right now skin a woman man you know and that's just straight up man and i'm saying this like i'm not saying that all of them are in that way but the masses of them their mind is completely destroyed man you know the advice to, which i give is better be all by yourself you know if you're burning then you just deal with a, 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 a slice in them you know but in this present time the mind of most of them is just completely corrupt you know, this Western, this Western way of thinking has corrupted the mind of these females, man. Even, even the ones from, from, from uh, the Middle East and places, man. They come over here. They put off, they put off the, the um, how, do you, how do you call that thing? The head covering of the woman. Mm -hmm. The head covering, they just putting it off. You know, showing nakedness, walking around, loud mouth. I was talking with this, with, uh, with this, uh, with this dude. He was telling me about how the wife of his brother was being a straight up demon towards his brother. And his brother was not taking action against the way how his wife is dealing with him. Because, Same. because the mother because the mother chose chose uh, 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 that woman for him. So I was like, what? But then still, he still has to open up his mouth. Like, if you see a woman being a demon, you got to correct that. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, with, uh, another thing. Women don't know how to choose, man. Mm -hmm. They can't choose good men because they always pick pick the wrong man and then blame the wrong man That's if it. some things happen. That's it. That's you know? it. So, so why would your mother, why, if a woman can't, can't even pick a good man, why would she pick a good wife or woman for you, man? Yeah, man. Hey, that's true, man. 
That's true, man. The scripture says it here. Let's get that, man. The book of Job, chapter 39, verse 17. Because the Most High had deprived her of wisdom, neither had he imparted to her understanding. They, they, they deprived of wisdom, man. You know? The same way, like how children need guidance, the woman needs to be guided by the man. And when you tell them these things, they will get angry. No, I'm not going to be guided by men. I'm equal to you. You know? But that's what it is, man. That's how the Most High created it, man. The Heavenly Father created the man and he gave the woman as an aid. An aid is a servant and help unto the man. You know? But what is this world doing? This wicked empire is lifting them up, man. The scripture speaks about it, man. A woman shall compass a man. You know? That is what is taking place. So the order, the order is actually you got the Heavenly Father. Then you have the Redeemer. Then you got the man. And then beneath the man, you have the woman. The woman needs to follow the man. But seeing that this wicked empire is lifting up the woman, not equal unto the man, but above the man, now you see all these same bitch ass niggas, man, same been bowing down, doing everything for a female, being totally out of order, man. You know? Females bossing them around, yelling towards them. Yeah, man. That is what is taking place upon the spirit, man. So when the Lord is coming back, the Lord is going to put everything back in order, man. And it starts with your own mind. Your mind needs to be in the right mind and understanding like these females need to be put in check. You need to walk in a manly spirit instead of an effeminate spirit, man, because the effeminate is not going to enter into the kingdom, man. Exactly, because like the Lord said, the kingdom is in you. So you already got to have that mindset, man. That's it, that's if, it. If a woman is dealing like a, is acting like a devil, man, hey. You need to put her in check, man. Like That's the brother it. said, man, put her in her place, man. That's and it. if you're scared for that woman, if you're scared she's leaving you, then you're not a real man, man. And then you're not kingdom worthy. Exactly, man. And that's the case with a lot of them, man. You know, they're not, they're not, they're not fit, you know. They're not fit for, for the kingdom, man. This is in the book of 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is the Messiah and the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man, and the head of the Messiah is the Heavenly Father. So the Most High, the Most High deals with hierarchy, man. You got the Heavenly Father, you got the, the Redeemer. Then you got a man who needs to follow the Heavenly Father, uh, uh, the Redeemer, who sets an example in righteousness sake. Then you have the woman which needs to follow the man. The man is the leader in a relationship. And if the woman is not respecting that, you got to kick her to the curb, man. Exactly. Kick her ass back on the streets, like... Go and go, go hoeing on the streets, man. Because then she is not fit for you, man. That's the spirit of Jezebel, man. Jezebel was thinking about turning the man and putting the man in the position of a woman and where Jezebel would put, place herself in the position of a man, you know? She wanted to be the leader, guiding and steering and telling how the man had to do. The most time dealing with that, man. Yeah, man, exactly. And you got many examples of Eve got four baby daddies yeah, yeah, she got four baby daddies crazy, but but she's not to blame at all yeah. that shows you man they have no accountability man that's what it is they just do things whatever the fuck they want and then they just they just won't take accountability for their fucking actions man you don't want to deal with something like that man you that man <laughs> You don't want to deal with something like that, man. <laughs> yeah. it, is, it, is, it is bound to fail. Yeah, but come to think of it, I, uh, you know, something came on my mind and that was, uh, you know, uh, from uh, don't be a menace while drinking your juice to South Central. You got that uh, that soccer black woman, Dashiki. Oh, Dashiki, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, hey. <laughs> Daddy kissed him like, what the fuck you did? Yeah. Are, you you know? Are you my daddy? Are you my daddy? You know my daddy? <laughs> like, what the fuck you kissed him, man? Nigga, you just kissed all the niggas of this neighborhood, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, man. Yeah. Hey, but that's the skit. The humor in it, but there's so much truth in it, man. Yep. There's so much truth in, in what, what is being said and being taught, man. You know? Let me get one piece up again and then we can go into that, man. In the Deuteronomy, because these are the curses, man. This is, this is all because of rebelliousness and lawlessness, man. And it's the same spirit that our people still are in, man. Lawlessness, not listening to the most high, not repenting, man. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28, I believe also in the book of Amos, there's also one in, uh, you can get that one, or that one as well, in the book of Amos, what is it, Amos, uh, uh, your wife shall be a harlot in the city, is it Revelation, is it Amos 7? 
five, seven, or maybe seven and seventeen and seven and eighteen. If I'm not wrong. Why your wife shall be a harlot? Let me see. Yeah, aim is seven and seventeen. Let me first bring out this one. This is in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse uh, uh, 54. It reads, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. And even, even, even the brotherhood, man, back in the days when we used to live amongst each other in righteousness, in the ways of the Heavenly Father, and you mean we had we had a delicate love of taking care of each other, man. We even greeted each other with a holy kiss, man. Give give a brother right now in this special time a holy kiss. They'll be like, what is it? You know? But back in the days you had you had a very strong bond, man. Jonathan, prime example, man. That our, our people had a very strong bond as in and loving and caring and protected, man. You don't see these things upon this upon them in this wicked world because this world this world exists out of creek crooks man backstabbers was the saying there's no honor among thieves they're all stealing you might even have a click my man if we're gonna make money man we're gonna make money you make a million with three fellas before you know it when you might think you're gonna get your you're gonna get your cut this man pulls out a gun, he puts a bullet in your head because he wants your card as well. This this how this is how, how people are upon this earth in these days, man. You can trust nobody, man. You can trust nobody. You know? Let's go on. It says, uh, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Exactly, man. The boondog shows you about a nigger moment, man. You just walk in the streets. By accident you step on some brother's shoe. This brother is getting so mad. Nigga, why are you stepping on my motherfucking shoe, nigga? Boop, 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 boop. By accident, you stepped on his shoe, man. But they don't have the same energy towards the oppressor. The one that is kicking them in the neighborhood. The one that is continually gunning them down in the streets. They got them fellas talking about, nigga, I'm gangster, nigga. I'm rolling upon you, nigga. I got the AK-47. Where is that energy? when the police is gunning them down on the streets. Why, 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 why is it that we don't see no gang members coming together like, yo, hey, they shot Ray Ray on the streets, man. We ain't having it, man. We gonna roll upon the cops, man. Where, where's that energy? But they were gangsters, right? We ain't not gangster. We ain't not nigga. I'ma put bullets in your head. I'ma ride upon you. I'ma ride, where, where's that energy? But that energy is only towards each other because the system is programming them. The programming takes place by the music. You got drill music, you got the gang banging music, putting a spell upon them and teaching them, kill your brother, kill your sister, steal from your brother, turn your wife, turn your turn your sister, turn your turn turn your daughters of Zion into hoes. That's what they want to do. But they don't have that same energy towards the oppressor. Then it's oh yes, yes, yes. Oh, please, stop. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes, master. master. Yes, master. <laughs> yes, master. Then, then, then it's that energy. No, this is not right. You know? Then it's that energy. But you look at it, and that's why we have the saying you got. You got house Negroes, <clears throat> and you got the field Negroes. The ones that do take a stand. Crazy. The ones, Crazy. That, do, the ones that do what we have people. to do. Crazy you know? People. We rise up against the evil. But the ones that are the house Negroes, they go. Rap. Yeah? Rap. No, 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 preach, preach. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay, but, the, okay. but the house... Animal, animal. Yeah, man. Animal. Yeah. No but but the, the, the house Negroes, the house Negroes, they go to to, to the to the music labels, for example, man. Yep. You know, the music label tells them, like, yo, I don't want you to make Which constructive like music. I don't want you to build, I don't want you to do the right thing for the community. I want you to teach your people to be gang members, man. To, to sell dope, man. You know? To, to be to be burglars, to be thieves, to be pimps. And that's why I see other people doing it, man. Young boys looking up to, to, to so-called gangsters that made it, man. Growing up, picking up the guns. Paradiso. Paradiso. You know? Th this is what you see. You know? So the system, the system is programming them to fail. You know? That's why this whole wicked place needs to be taken down to the ground, man. Speak. Go. Oh no, let's lucky like let me finish this. Yeah. Julio. 
Julio Iglesias. Julio? Iglesias. Julio Iglesias? No. What is with him? No. You like? No, like. Right? Like. Good. No. Good. So let me read on. It no. says, and towards towards the wife of his bosom, and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. And that's why the family, the family structures of the so-called Negro, most of the time is broken, man. Because first of all, you have a wife, which is just straight up demon, yelling towards you, not respecting you, the man working, may hey, the man earns money, you know, pays everything, pays the rent, pays, pays for the expensive shoes, you know, a Gucci bag which he wants to flash and walk around with. But when the man comes home, there's not even a decent meal being fixed for him, man. The house is not clean, not even a decent meal. The baby is running around in his diapers full of shit. You gotta, you gotta come home into an environment like that. The nigga will be like, no, fuck this, man. You know? So the mind, the mind needs to change. The respect of the woman towards the man, that needs to be established. There needs to be order in a family household. As long as there is no order, Hey, shit ain't gonna work, man. You know? It says, so, uh, uh, let me jump to verse 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which should not adventure to set the soul upon the foot on the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards her husband and for bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. That's why you got a lot of, a lot of females, a lot of females right now. When they, when they, when they end up in a fight with a boy, with a man which they have, and they got children, they say like, oh, okay, you never gonna see your baby anymore. You never gonna see your child anymore. That's the energy that they have. Because they have hate, hate towards the man who they have a child with. And many a times they channel the hate towards a child because the child has the, has the, has the futures of, of, uh, uh, of, of the father. So they will hate the child because the mother Yo. hates the, hates hey. the, hates the, the husband, man. This is what is taking place, man. They're beating the child. Convincing the child in all type of madness. Others are so crazy in their mind that they change the child into a faggot, man. They fucking change the, the boy into a faggot, man. This this is the world we're living in, man. So the Lord needs to come back, man. The Lord needs to come back to take to take this wicked empire down, man. Yeah, man, come on, go on. Uh, the book of Amos, chapter 7, verse 17. That's it. What a fuck. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God yeah, Yahweh, you can make, take pictures of this, man. Go on. Thy wife shall be an harlot in the city. Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. And if you understand that the woman was actually created to be a virgin given unto a man, and if a man would pop that virgin, well, that woman is supposed to stay with that man. Well, so in reality, well, all I'm, these I'm females, I'm well, most of them, because you still have virgins, but most of these females are straight up harlots, man. You know? Because they, they have been popped by a man but they no longer with that man that popped their cherry man took their virginity man you know so they all commit no, no, adultery no. you can take pictures of this not of me no. you can take pictures of this not of me take pictures of this not of me mm. Mm. you don't like no 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 okay go no. really good to be that again huh? yeah man therefore thus says the lord no, no, thy wife hey prosh hey prosh samp nisha yeah Yeah, man. The book of Amos, chapter 7, verse 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Thy wife shall be in harlot in the city, mm -hmm. and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. Yeah, man. This is what you see, man. You see it happening daily, man. As a raging bull in a net. They're standing on the corners. You have liquor store, gun store, liquor store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. They're going to get the liquor, do some sipping. They get the guns and they're gunning each other down over the most prettiest things, man. Nigga, why are you looking at me in that way? Oh, you think you're tough? You think you're gangster? Nigga, boom. Somebody dying on the street, another funeral, another mama cries. Oh my God, my baby, oh my God. Retaliation because we don't take it, nigga. They kill Ray Ray, man. We ain't having it, nigga. We're going to ride up on him. So the blood is being shed continually, man. The scripture speaks about it. Blood touches blood. Let me get that, man. Blood touches blood. And if and if you're looking at Chirac, Chirac is a prime example of this madness that is taking place. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. 
it says, it says to us, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Again, the Lord speaking towards the children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge in the knowledge of the Most High in the land. There is no knowledge of the Most High in the land, man. Exactly, man. The law is slack, man. That's it. That's it. The law is slack, and that's why wrong judgment proceeded, man. There's down more. There's more evil instead of righteousness. The people are the lovers of darkness and wrongdoing rather than doing right. You would think that if you have the choice to help somebody, you get a better, a better feeling out of helping and relieving somebody. But people have, people get a better or, or more satisfaction in doing evil and afflicting and causing each other to stumble. That's how, that's how sick people have become, man. Eh? That's why the world is in need of a cleansing, man. The earth needs to be cleansed of these creatures, man. They're good for nothing, man. You know? <laughs> They're good for, you know, to, to light them up, man. Hey, exactly, man. <laughs> That's what they're up, good man. for. <laughs> and like, like fire, let's see, man. Like fire, just like good. It says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. That's all that you see on this earth, man. People are swearing, lying, you know, killing and stealing and justifying it, man. Committing adultery. Nobody sees that I'm sleeping and fucking his wife. He ain't dealing it, he ain't doing it right, nigga. I gotta do this, man. I gotta do that. That spirit, man. Music is teaching them about it. R. Kelly, keep it on the down low. Teaching them, man. Teaching them all, all foolishness, man. But the righteous will stand up and teach and tell them, yo, if you do this, the Lord will take you down. You're not gonna be around the brotherhood and be in the spirit like, yo, man, hey, this chick, dealing with asking me if I want to come but you know this chick got a man and this man got working and, and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna go creep over there you're gonna be cussed out over here man he he you're not gonna be exalted by them you want to do this and don't man you gonna fuck his wife none of that over here man exactly. you're gonna get cussed out man we gonna let you know that the Lord gonna put you to death man yeah man as a matter of fact man we wanna kick your ass if you do that shit man. that's it and that's the right thing to do, man. The, yeah, same, man. the same as a homosexual, man. Don't come near, don't expect any form of sympathy of a prophet. We will, we will, we will cuss you out, you know? We will, we will burn you with the, with the words, you know? And in my mind, I actually want to burn them literally, man, because the scripture says you got to put them to death. Let's get that, man. Let's get that. The book of Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 20. Leviticus 20 verse 13 if a man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them how can a man lay with another man as how he is laying with a woman there's only if a man is popping another man from his back door which is the act of sodomy which the heavenly father is not allowing the act of sodomy can also be exercised towards a woman. Popping a woman in the back door is also the act of sodomy. It's not allowed. And the Lord will bring judgment upon people for doing these things, man. You know? Let's go back and... Uh, which one we had over? Was it? Yeah, Amos. Amos. Or oh, Amos was... was not safe the name. was not okay. was not clear. The book of Amos chapter 7, verse 17. Yep. Therefore thus say the Lord God, Yahweh, Thy wife shall be inhaled in the city, mm -hmm. and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, mm -hmm. and thy land shall be divided by line, mm -hmm. and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Yeah, man. Hey, that's what you would see. That, what, that is what will happen. You know? People destroy it, their minds. And even thugs, man. Thugs, they say so-called gangsters, gangsters. They ain't no gangsters anymore, man. You see them all walking around in tight panties, skinny jeans type of jeans, tight shit, you know? Others are wearing dresses. Others are putting nail fans on a nail, like all type of fuckery, man. Yeah, man, and, and <laughs> just to get some, uh, you know, a little bit of money and fame, you know? And that money that you're getting, these are breadcrumbs, man, for the so-called white man. Exactly. That is it, man. You know, the scripture said, "The boy, a boy shall not be a, 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 a your woman shall not be your daughter shall not be harlot." For the scripture, let me get it.
daughter shall not be a harlot, or you should not you should not turn your your daughter into a prostitute. You know, and that's what the system is doing, man. Young girls hypersexualized. You know, Disney Disney is is used to completely program them into this madness, man. Because these young girls that you see, that which Hannah Montana back in the days, she was all into into the into the well the Disney programming. You know, you had uh, uh, what was that other one? iCarly, and I believe that 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 uh, that chick from iCarly, she even opened up about how pedophilia is a strong thing in the music industry or the movie industry, man. You know, many of them want to speak about it, man. You had a Chester of Link Lincoln Park, you had Avicii. You know, and what happens when they want to open up? They, they murder you, man. You get whacked. You really think that these people committed suicide? No, man. They may say, yeah, but they was already depressed, dealing with the depression. No, man. You also, uh, Andrew Cappy or so? No, not uh, that. Uh, you know, that other guy. He uh, he, he he accused um, he accused Steven Spielberg uh, of, of being a pedophile. And then he got killed, man. He, he starred in the movie uh, Terminator Salvation and, yeah. and also in uh, the first movie of Thor. What's his name? I, I, I don't know anymore. Andrew Cappy? No, no, it was not, no, it's not Andrew Cappy, but Michael Cappy or something? I, I don't know. Hey, there are too many, man. Many that want to speak out, they get murdered, man. Hey, that's, that's how the devil works, man. This man, this man is, has received the power to take people down, man. You know, that's why we have to, you have to be careful what you do, how you move, and what we say. You know, if you're not, if you're not hatched by the heavenly Father, man, especially if you bow down, and you, you make, you make a, a covenant with them, there's a secrecy, man. That's why they always be like, shh, shh. It's a secret, and they always have lavish upon somebody else, man. If you wanna, if you wanna make a deal blood oath with the enemy they gonna take you most of the time they take you to the yard they're gonna see all type of things cat williams exposed many things man cat williams said he was going over there he was starting to open up doors all of a sudden you see dudes with each other dealing with each other he was like what the fuck is this you know you you he he sees things with his eyes which he wouldn't expect you know? And of course he has the foreknowledge, but this man, Cat Williams, is dope, man. He he has a very skillful way of putting it on a on a on a on a funny way he's dropping facts. You know? The same thing as, as Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin knows to do that as well, man. Dropping facts, but he's he's he's, he's putting it on a joking way, you know? But if you if you if you expose these devils they come after you, man, because they don't want to be exposed. It's the same thing as it's the same thing as a roach. You shine the light upon the roach and they will scatter away. Because they operate in the darkness, it's secrecy. If you operate in a way of being secret, everything being secret is a perverse mind. You're trying to hide your actions, man. That's the mind that these elites have, man. Working in the dark. That's why they're the children of darkness, man. Let me get a quick preset, man. This is in, uh, let's get this man, this is in the book of Ephesians, the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and uh, we're starting at verse 11. It says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather we prove them, man. We got to tell these people about what is taking place behind closed doors, man. You got, you got high top ranking elites drinking the blood of babies, man. Convinced that if they do these things, they stay young, rejuvenating themselves. <coughs> these people, these people have hunting games, man. The royalties is known for this, man. They take, they take young children, drug them, they take them to their whole mansion. This is a humongous place where they have a whole, a whole field around them, and they drug these children. And after these children are drugged, they strip them naked and they let them go. Children running, totally high as fuck, trying to escape, and then they go and hunt upon these children, man. These type of sick things is what these royals, these fake, these fake royalties are doing, man. You know, all for sport, just because they can. You know, he might tell them, "Oh no, not our queen! No, it's not. I don't believe our queen would do anything. The king, no, I don't believe anything of that. We love our king. We love our king. The king, the king moves himself as if the the king really cares about the citizen. Man. 
These people are so stupid, so naive, so foolish, man. You know? They're so stupid. Even until this very same day, you got people going outside and trying to vote, and they think things are going to change because of your vote. Shit ain't changing, man. It's just the same old, same old, same old, same that takes place, man. Their agenda being pushed, the people are being played and fucked over again, you know? Were they not against the Euro? Was it not, was it not the mass that was against the Euro, but they still received and got the Euro? So what the, what the hell is it that these people are talking about, man? You know? You have Rutte still in his place. After all the fuckery, after all the fuckery that this man has done, but this man is still in his place. Yeah, man, he's a he's a liar and a thief, man. People are not rising up like, what the fuck, man? Fuck this man. We ain't taking it, man. We don't want this man kick his ass out. None of that, man. He's still sitting in his place with his fucking smirk on his face. The same thing with right now. The people are coping with a crisis, energy crisis. People. And there are people that are paying right now 600 euros, 600 euros plus per month. Yep. People cannot, man, hey, people are catching hella, hella, man. Hella, hella. Winter is going to be a choice. Like, are you going to suffer cold or are you going to starve? What do you choose? What do you choose? You got, you got, you got people, children going to school, passing out because they ain't got no food. They got nothing, man. People can't pay, can't pay their gas. So if you can't pay the gas, they're going to turn it off. You're heading into the winter without no heat. Man, it's going to be hell for a lot of people, man. Hell. <coughs> hell. And Vladimir Putin, he said, okay, if you if you lift off the sanctions, then I'm willing to give. What is it he say? He, 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 he had an offer. If, if Europe would lift off the sanctions. But well, Europe goes along with all the things which America tells them, man. That's why, hey, we're living in a beautiful time where we're going to see the fulfillment of Revelation 17 verse 16 as well, man. You know? This, this movement, the steps that has been taken, Europe is doing exactly what America tells them, just following like, like, a, like a behaving dog, you know? But there will be a point where Europe has to decide, like, okay, we can't do this because now it's getting extreme. And we're getting close to it, man. I look at this winter, I already said many a times, like, man, it's going to be a cold, cold winter. A very cold winter for the people in, in Europe, man. You know? Yeah, man. So let me finish this. It's going to be a cold, cold winter. These Russians even had a song, man. It's going to be a, a long winter. I believe they, they had a song in, in Russian. Mocking them, mocking the people of here, man, about how it's going to be a long winter. Because it will. Ephesians chapter 5, verse, uh, uh, verse 11, again, it says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. It's a shame, man. It's a shame what they do in secret, man. Things with children, things with animals, drinking of blood. You know, sacrifices. Hey, crazy things are taking place on this earth, man. If the people would only know what is taking place behind closed doors, people would be so shook, so traumatized. People would commit straight up suicide, man. They would be like, oh my, oh my God. I didn't expect this to be done on this earth. Why are they doing this? The humanity. They would, they would, they would just flip, go completely crazy, man. But seeing that many of them are in La La Land, just this ignorance is bliss. That's why people can still do what they do, man. Go and trying to make money, trying to build or whatever it is that they do, you know? Yep. The book of Isaiah chapter 1, um, verse 6. Yep. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. Mm -hmm. But wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, yep. they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Yeah, man, so they haven't been healed, man. You can get a uh, whole that, you can get the book of uh, Psalms. Uh, what is it? Psalms 103, starting from the top. Then I'm going to get this one from uh, Matthew. Let me first read this from Matthew, then you can bring that down. This is in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, starting at first. Uh, 10. 
And it came to pass, as Yahawashai sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? Why? Because they need healing. You know? It's, it, it, we, we go out. The scripture speaks about compel them. Now we even compel the, the lame, the blind, the ones that truly need healing, man. You know? It says, But when Yahweh I heard it, he said unto them, They that behold need not a physician, but they that are sick. You see? And now people are sick, man. Where is the scripture saying, The law, the law is not made, the law is. Um, let me see this, man. I believe it is in the book of. Um, in Timothy, the law is made. Where well, you can get that, man? In the book of um, uh, First Timothy, uh, First First Timothy, one and nine. And then I'm gonna finish this. Okay, back in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 12, um, uh, verse 13. But go ye and learn what that meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. That's what we do as well. We walked in sin, as we every time when you make videos, you're trying to call the sinners into repentance. When you look at our people in the estate of Shirek right now, they gone and gang bang and doing all those things. That is causing the breach between the most high and them. They need to return. That's what we do. We're continually trying to tell them, like, return, come back, come back. Come bring out to step one from uh, Timothy. The book of First Timothy, chapter 1, verse 9. Yep. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, yep. but for the lawless and disobedient, mm -hmm. for the ungodly and for sinners. Yep. For unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers. Yeah, man. So the law, the law is there to teach you the right path of the Most High. That is where the law is for, man. You know. So seeing that our people are not walking in the right path, they need to return and keep the commandments of the Most High. You know, walk in the keeping of the Heavenly Father's commandments. Yeah. So come um, back in uh, the other one. The book of Isaiah, chapter uh, one, verse. Uh, chapter five, yeah, chapter oh, one, Psalms, verse. Psalms, Psalms, no. Psalms. Uh, Psalms. What does it look Psalms on the three. Psalms on the three. Yes, and now how it is. And uh, then we go back to Isaiah, because this this is what is healing our people, man. The healing takes place by the word of the Most High. We need healing daily on a daily basis. We need healing. We need mercy, man. The Bible speaks about the sure mercies of King David, man. King David was a man after the heart of the Most High, but even King David committed adultery, and he, he actually murdered the man, the, the husband of, of that wife. So he also needs mercy, man. We also need mercy, man. God. The book of Psalms, chapter 103, yep. verse 1. Yep. Bless the Lord, uh, O my soul, and all that is within me, Bless his holy name. Mm -hmm. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Mm -hmm. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Yep. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Exactly, man. You see, so the Lord, the Lord has done so many things for us, man. Mighty, marvelous, beautiful things for us, man. And we should never forget. Every time when we read, we understand like, yo, the Lord was merciful, the Lord did work this battle, was valiant over there, you know? The Lord was with King David, the Lord was with Samson. So with that same mind, we gotta think like, man, the Lord, the Lord, we pray that the Lord is also with us in those days to come. Because we're gonna need the Lord to, in order to conquer what is coming, man. Without the Lord, we're not gonna make it, man. This, this is going to be modern day King David versus Goliath, man. That's why we say we no better representing the, the tabernacle of King David and we're going up against the power structure, the stronghold, which right now is being 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 established by Esau, man. The red devil, man. Aiming for aiming for the new world order, man. You know, Sukan, you got something? I know, man, still Psalms 103. Alright, Richard? 
Salve São Andrei no sexto. Oh, né? Vou ir para a Iceia. Ah, oh, Iceia. Yeah. yeah, man. This, this. Our people need to repent. <laughs> repent, repent, repent. They did this. The Aushai did it. The, the, the disciples brought it out. Repent, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And time is time is running out, man. The, one? the book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse seven. Yeah. Your country is desolate, yeah. your cities are burned with fire, mm -hmm. your land, strangers devour it in your presence. Yeah, man, our land is devoured, man. You got, you got a bastard. What's it say? Jump from there to Zechariah uh, 9 and 6, and then we get for this one. A bastard, we got, we got a bastard in our holy land, man. We got, we got fake Jews proclaiming that they're the chosen, man, while they're not chosen, man. They create, they create a religion, they call it Judaism, and now they act as if they're the bloodline, they're the descendants of Jacob. You don't fool us. They're fooling themselves, man, and they're fooling the people which might be fooled by them. Yep, come. Exactly. The book of Zechariah chapter 9, verse 6. Mm -hmm. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, yep. and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Yeah, man, a bastard is dwelling in Ashdod, man. A fake Jew that convinced the people that they're chosen. Well, they're Amalekites, man. They're nothing but Edomites, man. Cave beasts is who they are, man. You know, I'm gonna read this. You can get uh, Job 30 from the top. I'm gonna bring this with it. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, uh, starting at verse 8. And then, let me start at verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. It was a mystery. How, um, oh, yeah, yes. Captain, uh, fly <coughs> It says, it says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now led it will let, until he be taken out of the way, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of, of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So the mystery of iniquity is, are the rulers upon this earth right now? aiming for their new world order, their totalitarian state upon this earth, man. You gotta know who the enemy is and what they do and what they're trying to achieve. What the wiles, what the tricks are that they use against the people, man. Because tyranny is continually being used against the citizens. The propaganda machine is going buck wild and people believe all the lies that are being spewed towards them, man. It says, uh, even him, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. So the deception level is going to increase upon this earth, man. The thing that they're doing right now is they're convincing you that technology is the way out of the, the, the misery that is about to come upon this earth. But technology is not the way out, man. You know? Technology is being used to program the people into the acceptance of the mark of the beast, the karafman, the microchip, man. That's what they do. That's why you had that Jufal uh, uh, Harari. He, he made a statement like, Technologi te uh, uh, a technological uh, uh, um, art of Noah, you know, which these people really think that when the disaster is coming, that technology is their escape, that the majority of the people is going to die, and that only a small remnant will be saved by the way of technology, which is not going to happen, because the Bible states that a majority of people is going to die because they are conformed onto the system, man. Eh? Those are those that give themselves open to believing and thinking that science is the way out, man. Only the elect, a small remnant that is truly worshiping the Most High in spirit and in truth, they're going to be saved, man. The rest of the people is going to be, is going to be consumed, man. It says, and with all deceivableness, which they do, and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. They couldn't receive the word of the Most High, man. They rejected it. They didn't believe the word of the Most High. They thought light of the word of the Most High. You know? Many people are scoffing and mocking against the word of the Most High, man. But you don't you don't move the, the surface, man. A true surface is rooted in this word, man. You look at people and you be like, you don't understand against what you're mocking and scoffing. You know? People, people have joy in being in a state of actually being appointed unto destruction, man, without even knowing it. It says... And for this cause, the Heavenly Father shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. Many people will fall for the trickery. They will believe that science, technology is the way out of the misery. 
others believe in the climate change and all the madness that they need to go along with the degrees of the of the carbon dioxide you know all those climate activists we want to save the world save the world save the cells you know save everything but you don't even you don't even have the right mind to save and to take care of humanity but they want to they want to save the world man they simply want to save the planet man as long as they don't even understand how the mind works and how their mind operates upon the earth, they can change and they can do anything, man. Nothing. It says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but at pleasure in unrighteousness. And many have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. They have pleasure in, in lawlessness, man. Just doing whatever they want, not listening, not caring, and not changing, man. You know? This thing, this truth is about you gotta be, you gotta be re-established, become a new creature in the heavenly Father, man. You know, Kong, you got something. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 1. Yep. But now they that are younger than I have, uh, excuse me, but now they that uh, are younger than I have me in derision. Which are these Edomites, man. You know, they, they are older than us, they became, they came first, but they're younger in spirit, man. You know, we, we, are, we are way further developed and closer to the Most High than these Edomites, man. These Edomites are profane, they're outside of the temple. They're fornicators. It is a normal thing for them to do sexual things with their own children, man. <coughs> this man, this man, this man, I just I, I watch this thing. This man lured uh, anorexia uh, uh, minus into 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 uh, instructing them in how to lose more weight, and he was instructing them into into diets and uh, diet things, which could lead them to to die, man. He was telling them like, yeah, just only eat this and don't eat it, and if you eat that, I will punish you. These chicks, these insecure chicks, are going along and just. But the Alberto Alberto stage man, he confronted him. He said like, yeah, but do you know what happens if you if you tell them to go along with this do you know what can happen he was like yeah they can die but you still tell them to go along with this thing <laughs> you know you still tell them to go along with this thing yeah 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry and then the point at a certain point he said like yeah but uh he, he even he even blamed him he was like man i'm gonna go home with my wife and then and uh, everything is everything is now totally messed up thank you thanks to you he was like, thanks to me, thanks to me, you are the one who's doing this. <laughs> I was watching this thing, I was laughing, I was cracking, I was like, damn, man, damn. He had a six-year-old child, till a, point, a point, certain point he said, like, yeah. Uh, he asked him, like, do you have a child? He said, yeah, I have a six-year-old child. He said, but still you do this? But then he said, and then, oh, no, he said, like, yeah, but then it's better that you go to the prison. You know, because he was about to call the police. He says, oh, you have a six-year-old child? Well, I think that it's good that you go to prison. And then he said, like, yeah, but I, I would I... never do something like that to my child. And then he said, like, yo, oh, of course, not your child, but to, uh, to somebody else's child, you will do it, right? To somebody else's child, you will do this, right? Hey, man, Alberto is a dope, man. He man. He He confronts them, man. And you hear, you hear things. Well, I'm not, I'm not shook when I hear these things because I know the elites, they're occupied in this. Yeah, but and... It, it's, it's the idea of how a man like that can, can without, without any hinder, do something like that for two years. That's like when you just sit and think like, these motherfuckers, man, you just commit one crime, you just one, you just one small minor offense, and these motherfuckers are upon you, man. Headlock, putting the knee in your neck, choking you to death you know but here they here they are they let they let a fucking pedophile do whatever the pedophile is doing man it's fuckery man you know you wanted to say something yeah that's the spirit of an edomite man that, that's what i wanted to say but, uh... hey that's it man you know they're fornicators man they commit illicit illicit sexual acts man they're homosexuals they're incest committers they're pedophiles they, they're lesbians, they do things with animals. Now you have the Zuvillia, that which they want to add onto the LGBTQ community. Add the letter Z on it. You had this dude, this man was a German. This German was just talking about as if without any form of shame, man. This man was doing a story about how how he had how he had a, a, a dog and how that dog was was do, he was like the dog was doing him. I'm like, yo, dude. 
sick, man. And then, then he changed and he took a bitch. He said, now, now I have a bitch. If you saw the eyes of that dog, like, hey, man, fuck up, man, hey, sick, man, echt sick. You saw, you saw the dog was like totally destroyed, man. Like, hey, man, they say the eyes are the windows to the soul, man. Is you, if you saw the eyes of that dog, man, man. That man needs to be put to death in the door. Let me get the scripture, man. Quick precept about that, man. Crazy. But those are Edomites, man. Edomites. <clears throat> Let's get that, man. Crazy, crazy world we're living in, man. Um, what is it, 20 and 14 or something? Yeah. It's in the book of uh, Leviticus 20, verse, uh, verse 15. And if a man lie with a beast, which is an animal, he shall surely be put to death, and he shall slay the beast. So that filthy German dog fucker is supposed to be put to death, man. And the dog as well. The dog as well. But it's not taking place in this wicked empire. In this wicked empire, this man is right now trying to fight for the legalization of dealing with animals, man. This is, this is crazy, man. This place is fucking sick, man. That's why the Lord needs to come back, man. Lord, the Lord, the Lord can come back quicker, man. Fast, fast, please come back, man. You're sick. We, we, you get sick in this world, man. In the book of uh, Habakkuk. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 1. Which, he was klaar, volgens mij. Now, if you look Whose fathers... I would have disdained oh, yeah, yeah. to have fed. set them with the dogs of my flock. Ooh, that's a spirit, man. This, <laughs> the Job, Job even said like he wouldn't even leave an Edomite around his dog because an Edomite would fuck his dog, man. <laughs> he was like, no, man, scram in these Edomites, man. Don't put them near my dog, man. They won't fuck my dog. And the dog is loyal, man. You love the dog. They say, dog is man's best friend. You, you, the dog is loyal. The dog will protect your house, man. If a bird was coming, the dog can be the bug, uh, 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 attacking the person, man. But if you don't watch out, an Edomite would sleep with your dog, man. You know? Can't go on? <clears throat> Yea, where to uh, might the strength of their hands profit me, yep. in whom old age was perished? Yep. For want and famine, they were solitary. Yeah, man. Hey, in uh, the movie Quest of Fire, man. You had you had these these uh, uh, Neanderthalers back in the days like brute beasts, man. They they didn't they didn't even knew how to clean themselves, man. They were like they were like beasts, man. They many a times they love to say about our people that we were swinging in the rimbu from tree to tree. Listen, man. These people tell you so much lies. They trick and tell so much lies about our people, man. If you really look back at what these people did back in the days, man, in the caves, that's why they called the cave dwellers, man. The word Caucasian comes from the Caucasus mountains, man. They used to dwell in those caves, man. Why the hell you think they're coming up with those cartoons like the Flintstones, man? These people don't even know their own history, man, but they want to hide it, man. Now they think they're all civilized. They're the ones. That's why they say, uh, 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 what is it they say? Civilization started when... Uh, with the Greeks. With the Greeks. Yeah, man. That's, That's what they want to say, you man. Civilization started with the Greeks. Fuck out of here, yeah, man. Yeah, but the Bible says that the, the wickedness started with the Greeks, man. With Alexander, it. the damn homo of Crete, man. That's it. That's it. Filthy faggots shaving their beard, trying to be attractive for little boys. You know, the gymnasium and all those fuckery nakedly. They wanted to have sex even until this very day. Even until this very day, you have you have those acrobatic, those 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 uh, uh, turners that do that have to be partakers in, into those Olympics. They have to dress all type of things, and they feel uncomfortable. They be like, we we don't want to walk in this. This is this is this, this is what we want to do. You know, but who established it? This is this is all going from the Greek, from the Roman Empire, all coming back. It's just the revived Roman Empire we're dealing with, man. The same filthy Epicureans lavishly orgies and fucking around doing all type of drugs and all type of fuckery man that same energy is back upon this earth man it's just it's just to repeat it's all revived that's what it is man you know go on <clears throat> 